Hello everyone, I am 5M Creations and today's video I'm going to be showing everyone how to create their own 5M server in 2022 and 2023. Before I get on with the video, I just want to let you all know, I personally have my own 5M server called San Andreas Adams Roleplay. If you guys would like to check out my server, that would be great. I'll be leaving all the links down in the description below and let's get going with the tutorial. So next, you want to open up any browser you use. It doesn't matter what browser you use, Jigs Opera, Google Chrome, it doesn't matter. Look up 5m.net. I'll leave it down in the description below and uh, here up on the screen. So once you get onto this web stage, you're gonna go over to the sub marker and go to create your own server. Click on it, host your own server. You wanna click on that one. It'll put you this page right here. You want to go setting up a server using TX Admin. Once you clicked it, it will show you another page right here. And this is a, uh, it basically gives you a rundown how to create your own server. But I'll be showing you guys how to do it super fast, easy, you know, take all the problems out of the way for you guys. So what you guys want to go from here is you want to go to Windows Serving Building List. So this is where your artifacts are. This is how you create your main server. So I would just right click on that and open in a new tab, go over. And you guys want to press on latest recommended so this will be your recommended server artifact that hasn't caused you know 5m to crash or whatever so this is the most stable one they have so far so click and it should show up into your downloads folder it just depends how long it takes to download you know it varies on you know other people's internet after that you can just close out of that now you want to head over to your folders and go down to the page where you downloaded the server artifacts. They should be right here. I use WinRAR to extract all my files. Uh, whatever one you have, just extract the file. All you have to do is right click on it, extract files, wait for it. Now you want to select the file you just extracted, double click on it, scroll down until you see FX server. Now you want to click on FX server and let your server run. Just wait for it. It takes a minute. So it'll send you over here to TX Admin. Now you want to open up your server real quick. And if it doesn't autofill for you, right here it says no CF CFX.RE account link. Type the pin. If the pin is not already autofilled, your pin will be right here. It says already, please access. You have your local host. And your IP it says use pin below to register. This is your pin right here 0490. It's gonna be different for other people. This is just my pin. So that's right. So I'm gonna link account. Continue. And if you do not have an account, make one. It doesn't matter. I'll type in your password. You want to click next. Your server name, whatever you want to call it. I want to call it test. Next. And uh, you want to click popular recipes. It's basically the recommended one here. Now, if however you guys want to do it, you can use ESX Legacy or QB Core or CFX Default. For me, I'm going to be running. CFX default. And now for your now you can change your path if you want to. I'd recommend not changing your path. I would just hit save. Just don't touch this if you don't know what you're doing. So click save. And then go to receipt developer, just press this. Now for your 5M key, it's asking you for your license key. Go right here. There should be a green highlight button. You should be able to right click on it. Open and get a new tab. Go over to your other tab. Actually, I'll actually show you guys how to create a key. Go to new server. Display name. We'll call it test key. Now it's looking for your initial server IP address. So you guys go down to your bottom left corner over here to your search engine and type in command prompt or CMD. Open. 
After this, you want to type in IP config. Enter. Right here, after the default getaway, you have your IP. It should have two, three numbers and then two single digit numbers on your default gateway. So copy that. If I can copy it. You can exit off that. Paste it down below. For your server type, other or home hosted. If you guys have a pre-installed game server or hosted, meaning by Zap hosting, you guys can press this. But we're home hosting, so server you're using, home. I'll type in home hosted. Use your CAPTCHA our robot generate right here is your key I don't really care about this key I'll be deleting afterwards this is what your key will look like hit copy after that go back to your main tab where TX admin is go to your license key and control V run recipe after that now you guys can minimize this folder right here. Uh, you hit next. This is your server CFG file. So this is where we'll be starting all of our resources once we get to that point. So add them into the to the server. So from here, you want to go back up to the top left, back over to 5M docs, where you're setting up a server using TX admin. Go to setting up a vanilla FX server. Scroll down till you see server CFG. Once you see that, go from this hashtag. And copy it all the way down to your license key change me. Hit Control C, copy it, or right click and hit copy. Now head back over to your server developer tab. Now you want to click right here. You want to click on the on the main blue frame right here. Control A, delete. You don't need any of it anymore. And then Control V. What's that? So this is your server tags. This will be displayed underneath your server. Or what type of server you have don't change your your local your language for your server name you can change it whatever you want to you want to change it to test server and for project name you don't really have to change that for your description you can change that if you like now one sync 48 clients so for for right now if you guys do not have a patreon you can only have up to eight slots if you want to use custom clothing, which I'll be showing you guys in a later video. But for now, you have to have eight slots if you want to test out custom clothing, if you know how to do that. So for your key, you want to change your key. Click quotations. Control V. Or actually, yeah, that was messed up. I should have done this one. So go back over, get your key. So copy it. Control V. Now you want to save and run server. Alright, cool. I knew this was gonna happen. So if you guys want to if you guys have this problem for a fatal error, it says IP crested is seven five. Whatever your IP requested is, it should be after this hashtag two. So you want to take this fatal error, you want to go back to your server key management, and you want to create a new server I a new server key. So click this. Put it as whatever you want. I'm gonna call it test key, server IP, and we'll put it as a fatal error we had. Where's that? Uh, where did I have it? Right here. So seven five one seven four dot six two dot two five two. So I have it right here. Now you want to pick home hosted. Home hosted. Your captcha. Make sure you're not a robot. I guess. Generate. So you're gonna be generating a new key. Initial IP, hit copy. Now go back over to TX admin. Now go over to your server log, or actually it's CFG uh, editor. Go down to your key. So you keep doing that. Now put in your new key that you have. Control V. Save file. Wait for the save. Restart server. Now this should fix that problem. If we go back to our live console. Alright, cool. Yep, that fixed it.
So I, I see that a lot of YouTubers when posting this, they don't tell you if you ever get that key. So hopefully that fixes all your problem. Once it requests that fatal error, it should be the hashtag two and should have your requested IP. Just make a new server key. Boom, your server should be loading up. Don't care, don't don't worry about the flags or whatever. It's just your yarn. It's basically just uh, installing all the five of them events and all that. So don't worry about all these all these errors on the screen now. But but when you have your server key error, you just make a new key and then save save your file in the CFG editor and then uh, restart your server and it should be running. So let's just wait for this. This should be done. <coughs> So we could just minimize. We have our server right here. I believe this should be done. So we could just minimize that. Refresh our screen. Open up 5M. Wait for it to load. Boom. My FX server project. Now there's actually there's a couple of ways you can do this to actually load into your 5M server. You could connect right here. You could connect using this. I don't believe you can connect through this unless you port forward your server or even try to look it up. So I'll be showing you guys that in a later video. So connect or you can press F8. Type in connect. Local host. And this should also connect you to your server. Okay. I guess if this is it, this is just a different game version, so you can just press OK. <coughs> and I'll, I'll also show you guys how to ensure a, a different game build to the latest GTA 5 update. So you guys have all that cool stuff. Wait for 5M again. Just a waiting game, really. Alright. Go back to Connect. Oh, actually, it's gonna connect for us. Forgot about that. So this is a bare bones server. There's nothing on this server, and I'll be showing you guys how to install scripts, Discord, weapons, clothing, cars. Uh, I'll be showing you guys a lot of stuff so your 5M server can come alive. And uh, I, I don't do 5PD. Um, I haven't really did that. I don't. I don't know much about 5PD. I never really really got into that. I usually just like to play with other players and not pull over bots. <laughs> That's just me though. That's personal opinion. I know a whole bunch of other YouTubers do 5PD. I don't, but if you guys want to do that, I don't do that, I guess, is what I'm saying. <coughs> so this is your bare bones server. Nothing is, nothing is inserted in here, so everything should just be fine. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to install an F1 menu. But this is a live server. You guys still have peds in here or AI in here. Wow. Yeah. Yo, what's up, big So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like. If you don't like the video, give it a dislike. It doesn't matter to me. If you guys enjoyed, and uh, hopefully you see all the 5M server community. Peace out.